Good morning, ESM. Today is Thursday, June 3rd, and we're going to do a bit of a weird show today, and we're going to shoot it first to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On Tuesday, June 8th, there will be a sign-up and informational meeting for anyone in grades 9 to 11 looking to play JV or varsity football. The June 8th meeting will be in after school in the large cafeteria. See Coach Eschbacher in B23 if you have any questions. On Tuesday in Florida, a 14-year-old girl and a 12-year-old boy allegedly ran away from a group home, broke into an empty house which was stocked with firearms and ammunition, and opened fire on deputies. The 14-year-old girl was shot and wounded, suffering life-threatening injuries, but is in stable condition. County Sheriff Mike Chitwood said deputies had done everything they could have to de-escalate, but were left with no other choice but to return fire. The president and CEO of Florida United Methodist Children's Home, where the children lived, called the incident tragic and a result of the system failing the children. In a statement, Kitwana McTyler said changes were being made to the emergency shelter care program, issues with child welfare, and a lack of adequate or appropriate placement of children were also being addressed. Now we're going to go to weather with Gabby. Today we'll have a high of 75 with possible thunderstorm showers. Friday and Saturday will be in the 80s. Friday expect rain showers and mixed sun and cloudy skies on Saturday. The rest of the week will be in the 90s. Sunday and Monday will have some sun and Tuesday has low chances of a thunderstorm. Wednesday expect mixed sun and clouds with some rain. I'm Gabby with your weather. Now more news with me. Former President Donald Trump has shut down his blog for good due to lack of internet traffic. After being banned from several social media platforms, Trump has been using his own blog from the desk of Donald J. Trump to communicate with his supporters. Trump was banned from social media after the Capitol riot in January, which occurred in protest of the November 2020 election. Hundreds of Trump supporters stormed the nation's capital and fought violently, resisting police. After this, several platforms banned the president, blaming him for encouraging and emboldening the rioters. Paul Hodgkins, a 38-year-old Florida man who took part in the January 6th Capitol riots and stood on the Senate floor, was originally facing five charges, but after neg negotiations, pleaded guilty to one charge of obstructing an official proceeding. Hodgkins told U.S. District Judge Randolph Moss, quote, I have decided that I will accept this plea office offer and I will plead guilty on charge one. The maximum sentence for this charge is 20 years, but based on the estimated sentencing guidelines, he will most likely, likely receive 15 to 21 months in prison and a sentence hearing has been set for July 19th. This case is also expected to set a precedent for the future trials. Now we're going to go to sports with Luke. Boys varsity, varsity lacrosse won in the final seconds against CNS last night, 13 to 12. Eric Callahan scored three goals, including the last one to win the game with 15 seconds left. Grady Abreu, Matt Kenny, and Trey Jones all had three, two goals each. And Nolan Palmer also had a stellar defensive performance to help give the Spartans the win. The boys and girls track teams both won yesterday against Fulton. All of the boys and girls relay teams won the races. And with this win, the girls team become undefeated league champions, and the boys came in second in leagues. The track team starts sectionals next week. Softball team won at Fulton 19-4. Olivia Goff led the team with four runs, including a home run. Boys varsity baseball plays at home against Fulton at five, and girls varsity lacrosse plays at Syracuse City at seven. And I'm Luke with your sports. 
And that is sadly all the news we have for you guys today. So from me and everyone else here at The Morning Show, have a great day.